I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in His presence. This morning time, for our meditation today, let's turn to John chapter 3, verse 16, the most favorite scripture in the Bible. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Even though the whole world was under the grip of the fear of coronavirus for the last few months, now as the year draws to a close, people all around the world are getting ready for getting the things behind to celebrate Christmas and welcome the new year. Though we as believers, we don't celebrate Christmas as the world do. In these days, we'll be meditating on the events related to that blessed, happy day which happened a few centuries ago when our Savior came into this world to save us who are sinners by birth. The day of Christ's birth or Christmas is not mentioned in the Bible. There is a reason behind it. Because Christmas is not the birthday of Jesus Christ. We all humans have our birthdays as we all have a beginning when God created us. But Jesus Christ, who is eternal God himself, is not born, but he put on the clothes of man and came into this world to save us, we who were bound by sin. In the coming days, we'll be meditating upon this incident in detail. We need to understand that it was not a sudden plan of God to come into this world as our Savior. The scripture says that Christ is the Lamb of God slain before the foundations of the world. When the omniscient God was creating this world for man, decorating it with all the trees, mountains, valleys, flowers, he knew that one day this man will disobey him and will embrace sin which God hates. And to save him from its slavery and to bring this man back into his love, he will have to suffer the death of the cross as a man upon the mount called Calvary. But still, God created man out of his love. When man sinned, God gave a promise of hope in the Garden of Eden that the seed of the woman shall come and bruise the head of the enemy. The season of Christmas reminds us about gifts and happiness. Christ our Savior is the most precious gift that heaven gave to men who were God's enemies. The Word of God says that God so loved the world. That means His indescribable love gave the most precious gift to the whole world. The gift that has a value that no man can ever imagine to possess it in his wildest dreams. But let me ask you today, do you really value that heavenly gift? Have you accepted that gift and kept it close to your heart as it is the most precious thing of your life? This gift shows the love of the Heavenly Father towards us the unworthy vessels. If you value the love of the Father, then you will value His gift also. Even though man created a date for Christmas with his corrupted wisdom, I thank God for His wonderful wisdom that uses human error also to reveal His truth. We know after Christmas comes the new year. Though they are not related to each other, when we look at the life of a child of God who has accepted this free gift of salvation through Christ, there comes a new starting in his life. Everything is new in Christ. It is a new beginning. That is the miracle of this gift. May the good Lord help each one of us to be thankful for this wonderful, priceless gift and let us value it forever. May God bless all of us. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning that you have given us. Thank you for your presence that has been there 
all these years. Lord, as the world is getting ready for the Christmas season, preparations are all going around, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the precious gift that you have given us. It's a priceless gift and we don't have anything to give in return. Thank you, Lord, for the price you paid on the cross to deliver us from the bondage of sin and made us your child. Thank you, Lord. Help us to cherish this gift till our last breath. Thank you, Lord. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless us and help us to cherish this priceless gift. Heavens came down and glory filled my soul. May the Lord lead and guide each one of us. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.